Hello Rage Quitters, this is Greggs, and this is Doom 3. Doom 3 modded, spruced up to the nines, sporting all sorts of modern bells and whistles. So I'm just about to go through the options as you can see. Uh, there's all sorts of tweaks here and there, there's, they've taken out a few of the uh, menus and other bits and pieces from what looks like the absolute consoleized layman's version of Doom 3, the BFG edition. But as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, this is a combination of Wolfen's Texture mod, Sickpin's Effects mod, which has got all sorts of next gen, current gen bells and whistles, and a few other mods just thrown in for good measure. It's, it's quite special, it's really nice. You don't have to mess around with config files to get HD resolutions or you know 16.9 standard aspect ratios. It's all just done via the menus now and just does a quick video restart command so we're just about to go into the game now loading my previous game up this is it adds so much atmosphere now and this the reason i've done this video is because i've uh, been watching worth a buy this is uh if you remember the mac and mesh videos of back in the day when the two geordie scary pants fuckers used to play doom 3 and absolutely scare the shit out of each other which has inspired me to play this again uh he actually did a stream not so long back on the BFG edition and uh, it was rather disappointed in the uh, the way that it was handled. It was basically aimed at the console market, made it easier, made it less of a looker, not as moddable. And like I said, it was just so much easier that we were getting twice the amount of ammunition on just normal difficulty skill. Uh, again, aimed at consoles, so mods are pretty much out of the question. For the, it was the Xbox 360 and PS3 back in the day. But, you know, it was it had its up points. It had a, from some free content, which is which was cut from the original game, so it wasn't too bad. Um, just could have been better, that's all. So I'm just uh, soaking up the atmosphere. As you can see, big inclusion of the flashlight, which again on the BFG edition they decided to make it a body light rather than having to use your flashlight independently. They just made it available all the time, which. Totally killed the atmosphere for this game. That was what it was all about. It was a very, very bold design decision to do that. To add the flashlight separately. Especially in a game that's sort of fast paced and visceral and brutal as Doom. But you know, it's um it was very, very bold. And I, I appreciated it. A lot of people appreciate it for that. Added added so much to the tension. So as you can see I'm checking out the new graphics. Nice HD textures. A lot of um, parallax mapping gone in as well, you can see in certain surfaces. Look very, stuff looks very bumpy on the floor. Um, the frame rate's capped at 60 as well, so I think you can unlock it, but I'm running at 60 frames a second now. So it, but a couple of stutters here and there when it first loads, but other than that, it's pretty much solid. And it reflects in the gameplay, it's, um, it's nice. So yeah, there's no gibbing for some reason, I'm not sure why that's been... Disabled, as you can see, you get a nice splash effect on the screen when you uh, hit somebody up close. You get a blood spray. Yeah, a bit. I think some of the weapon audio has had a bit of a beef up as well. So, like I said, this mod is the um, Doom 3 Redux mod, and it is, I think it was released April this year, about 16th of April, I think it was. Uh, you can check out ModDB, I'll be linking in the description as well, give you some links and some links to other mods as well, which I think are cool for Doom 3. Yeah. So it just looks so much prettier. Uh, not everything's been done, you'll we'll see the odd sort of standard stock texture in there, which does tend to stand out a little bit compared to the stuff that's been redone. If you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those it's a flashlight, it's just firepower. such a cool design decision. Just, I do miss it. <laughs> I can't play BFG anymore. I just play this. Yeah, nice. So the guy's not actually, this is his first release of the mod. So he's planning on doing a lot more to it. Yeah, I'll be adding stuff like um, weapon tweaks. Also, he's working on overhauling the audio logs that he pick up during the game, just to add ambient noises to the sort of sound more authentic rather than someone sat in the studio actually recording them which 
I don't think it made much sense as I actually heard the samples that he's got on the mod db page and it does make perfect sense and it does add so much as well so that's something to look forward to oh, I love this bit with the turret awesome so you can see the blood looks nicer as well blood's been spruced up I'm not sure if the weapon models look any different. I think they look the same, the weapon models. So I'm really looking forward to the new Doom game, which is coming out in uh, in May, 13th of May, that's going to drop. Of course, I'm looking forward to the single player and the snap map, see what that has in store for us. Not overly fussed on multiplayer, as you might have seen from my previous videos. So the AI is, I think it's scripted, but it's still quite cool considering we're like 12 years ago. This game came out in 2004. Still pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, die. So cute, but deadly. So like I say, you can you can tell which is new texture, which is stock. It's night and day. Just absolutely oozing atmosphere. Atmosphere. Yeah, there you go. Look. Just that sense of knowing now you only defence now for a split second is just your flashlight. And why would they do away with that in the BFG edition? Why would they do what? I don't know. Crazy. I think the lighting's better in this edition as well. I don't know what happened with the engine upgrade. I think they actually changed engines for the BFG edition. It did something to lighten this game. It didn't make it look as um, strong. The shadows don't look as strong. The lighting itself looks weaker in my opinion. But you know, we have this at least. I love that bit. Where the animations are just. The animation system was so cool back in the day. The way they just climbed through the. the cupboards, all the servers, whatever they are. It's just so fluid. Love it. You can see, look, nice, some nice HD textures in here. I mean, look at this. Atmosphere. So the only thing that was lighting your way there was the. Readout on your SMG. Yeah, the spread on this shotgun is ridiculous. There's actually a mod. Like I said, the, this mod will have a revamp on the weapons. So the spread will, the spread will be tighter, so it'll, be, it'll get more damage. Because at the moment it's just ridiculous spread. Cheeky. So yeah, my HD blood, it's always nice to see. This is my favourite part so far. So like I said, this um, 
videos a shout out to Worth a Buy, which is the same guy who's got the set, the other channel called Max Corner, which does a lot of uh, live streaming. So yeah, Mac and Mesh, the good old days of scaring the shit out of each other playing this game. Yeah, this is a shout out to him. I hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your videos. I hope to see some more Doom videos as soon as the game's out soon. Tension. Hmm. Ouch. Yeah, I think I like the design of the pinkies that are coming in the new Doom. Got, got their old um, fleshy tones, but actually the whole the whole game looks far more colourful. A lot of people have said they don't think it fits, fits the actual mood and theme of the game, but I think it looks pretty cool. Right, we'll should leave it there. I'll let this play out for the rest of the uh, few seconds, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, click on that like if you like it, down thumbs if you don't like it, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. That would be awesome. Thanks very much for watching, and see you later.